Hey guys, Kaja here. Welcome back to another Diecast review. Now, um, I know he's a bit out of shot, um, but it's a bit awkward with Cameron. But here today we have Scott Tyler. He is a big sort of tractor, sort of bit like Frank sort of thing. So a combine harvester kind of sort of character, but it's not sort of, as you can tell, not a part of him. It's like attached onto the back of him. Um, he appears in the film straight off um, when they mack his head into the Rusty's Racing Center. Um, you just see him in the background. I may he might have been planes. I don't know for sure, but he could have been. Uh, so he has a really short, uh, short appearance. It's funny how they released him now, but um, they did nonetheless. Uh, very cool. Apart from the uh, apart from the Toys R Us exclusive Radio Springs line. Um, was, oh, I hit the camera. I literally, I probably do that near enough every video. Um, yep, it's a, del a deluxe, obviously. And then you have a bit on the back. Yeah, you might not be able to see it. It says there you clamp it on, uh, but apart from that, that's about it because it's the international packaging. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of see where it sits under there, which is very cool. Um, I literally got this car today. I know I've still got the new cars um, to review. Probably Shiny Wax will probably be out next, maybe tomorrow or whatever. Um, I've just also put all my cars, free cars, in my cabinet as well, which is very cool. They all uh, nicely sit in there now. All uh, nice on display. Um, but yeah, I think we should probably get on with opening this so we can talk about it more and sh I can show you in a better um, view. Okay then, so here he is out of the packaging. He comes with this right here, which is, um, if I just show you real quick before you attach it, which is all movable as you can see, with the little sort of spikes there. And I guess it just clips on right here maybe yes is that it no nope. <laughs> that wasn't it but i think that's the right kind of idea maybe if we keep pushing this on there we go all right that's very cool doesn't seem to move it's probably just because of my desk but it does still move as you can see them all moving there so maybe it's not a combine harvester maybe it just chopped up plants or something but that's very cool so this is the first car so again where you have to sort of supposedly i don't know build it um there's the uh, i can't remember his name there's the pickup truck that must take away mcqueen maybe the race pickup oh just sorry about this i'm just putting the box back together as such um yeah i have to have a look what his name is I actually got the collector's poster today when I bought this, uh, which is very cool. Very cool material. Uh, his name is Stud Scatter Shields, I guess. Yeah, Stud Scatter Shields. So, yeah, you have to sort of like put the cab bit and the truck bed together. But um, yeah, we are definitely getting through the cars now. There's not too many left to get. I mean, there's still quite a few for me, but for the ones that have been released, there's. Um, I think every single car on this poster has been released. Well, kind of anyway. People have got them in their hands from China or wherever. But yeah, for ones for me, there's still a few left to get. But they have all been released now, which is pretty cool. Which I suppose you'd expect. Well, not not released. They they're just all available now to people to buy. Wherever you want to pay four million pound for a car, I don't know why you want to pay so much. So I just wait to get them off of like toy websites or like Smives or in the store. Um, yeah, like I said, um, Scott Tyler appears in that little short scene when Mac is on the way to um, the Rusty's Racing Centre. You see him in the background, maybe cutting up plants or whatever. Uh, he's very cool. I don't think he's... Look at the official name. Kind of looks like a tractor, but is isn't. I don't really know. <laughs> it's kind of confusing. But I think, yeah, both of these wheels turn together. As you can see here, look, these don't turn separately, neither do these. And if you turn this side, this side will turn as well. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's go into this real uh, review of him now. Um, I'm guessing a lot of it's plastic, maybe. Oh no, just this mouth pit here. Um, no, the hat is. Um, oh, you can kind of see. Uh, it might just be this bit in the front bit, maybe. I don't know. This wheel is making so much noise. Uh, but yeah, we have this grill here, which is very nice. It's matte. This mouth, which you can barely see, it's all like rusty. Maybe dirt on the front. We have some more dirt in there. Um, sort of stuff near the engine. Uh, his eyes, he's got sort of like bluey greeny eyes and his little cap with some lights. He also has some, oh, he has some like exhausts here, I think. Is this two or something? Looks like maybe two exhausts there with some fuel tank there as well. And he's got these big mirrors. 
and he also has a handle which I suppose people would use to climb up onto him. Don't know why, because you humans probably don't exist in this. Got this little thing as well, I don't know what that is. Uh, nice brown wheels, which is very cool. And he also has these sort of arches that cover his fend those wheels at the back, so like little fenders. We have sort of like the unit that would be used to attach this, I guess. Got a window at the back there as well, looks a bit rusted there. Uh, but yeah, we, then we have on the back here I have dirt or rust on the actual blades themselves yeah, with some sort of silver trim. I'll show you the blades now. I think they're very nice indeed. <laughs> Where they spin around. Yeah, it's very, very cool car. Uh, base, if you're interested, is obviously a very weird one. Just you pick something in China, Mattel, all that usual stuff. And obviously, like I said, he is a deluxe, and you can get him for twelve ninety nine, uh, what English pounds, and then maybe like fifteen, whatever that converts to in dollars. But yeah, very. This is a very cool one. It's definitely worth it. I know ones like Tractor have been released as a deluxe, which is obviously the same price, which to me makes no sense. It's not worth buying it. Um, I don't think anyway, unless you really want it. <coughs> but yeah, this is very cool. A very cool car indeed. A very unusual one. And uh, it looks very cool when you sort of look at it head on as well. As you can see there. But yeah, um, that about does it for this review. It's not, a, I know it's not an overly long one, but there's not too much to say about him uh, because he is sort of a minor background character. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I'll get a video out for you tomorrow because I know uh, I haven't really had a video out the last couple of days. Even though I've just been a bit busy again, but hopefully, I'll get another review out on uh, for you guys tomorrow, possibly. Yeah, most likely shiny wax. So I hope you guys um, are looking forward to that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next review, guys.